Hello, I'm Chris Harvey from QA Training. This is one of a series of videos in which I'll be showing you how to use Excel more efficiently. In this particular video, I'll be showing you how to lock the headings along the top or down the side of your screen so that they are permanently visible. In my sample spreadsheet here, you'll notice that row 1 contains the titles that I would like to keep at the top of my screen. No matter how far down the list I come, I really want to see the titles that I have up in row 1. In Excel 2007 and 2010, this is easily achieved by coming to the View tab and then choosing Freeze Pins. Microsoft made this command significantly easier in 2007 and 2010 compared to previous versions with the introduction of Freeze Top Row and Freeze First Column. If I choose Freeze Top Row, that will freeze the row which is currently at the top of my current screen. So if I choose this command here, You'll see that it gives me this black line running along the screen. That is a good indication to me that the command has worked. And now as I scroll down the screen, I can permanently see the contents of row 1, no matter how far down my Excel spreadsheet I come. If I come back to freeze panes, I can turn off the command with unfreeze panes. If your layout is slightly different, maybe if you want to also lock columns A and B, at the same time as locking row 1, then I'm afraid that command I've shown you isn't the best way to do it. To show you, I've moved to, to my sheet 2, and in here, I really want to view row 5 and then columns A and B, no matter where I am on the screen. To do this slightly more complex command, it all comes down to my cursor position. The cursor position is vitally important here. I'm going to move in this spreadsheet to cell C6. That's because if I use freeze pins, it will lock everything immediately above and everything to the left of my cell position when I give it the command. So now I can come to view, freeze pins, and choose freeze pins. Remember this will lock everything to the left, columns A and B, and everything above my current position. That's rows 1 down to 5. This time I get the two black lines, and again if I scroll down, I'll permanently see rows first five rows, if I move off to the right hand side then I will always see columns A and B. Finally to turn the command off, don't forget it's back in view, it's back to freeze panes and it's unfreeze panes. I hope that helps you. For more information on how QA training can help you become more proficient in Excel please click on one of the links below.